hello everyone welcome back again to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video you know in my previous video i said this week's all about bat week bat week bat week so i'm dropping i'm dropping another formula on how to achieve that bat week you saw on the picture so please let's get started and this also is the measurement i'll be using for this tutorial please note it down and let's get started thank you so my friends to determine the length of fabric you can use for this style it's easy i'm going to show you a, a a tip or formula you can use to determine the length of the fabric you're going to use for this style so let's say this is my fabric i'm using this as an example so the length of the blouse that is from my shoulder to my underboss plus two inches is 14 inches so that 14 inches what you simply do is this that 14 inches you add it together 14 plus 14 gives you 28 inches yeah so 28 inches let's say this is 28 inches yeah you just fold it like this so this is so now is now 14 inches because let's say this is 28 inches now foot like this here is now 14 inches size 28 divided by 2 is now 14 inches so the next step you do is you find the, the midpoint of this fabric because it's on fold isn't it you find the midpoint so yeah let's say here is the midpoint what you simply do you just take your tape measure like this for example like this to find the midpoint then you hold your tape measure you see like this hey, hey. let's say here is the eight point the full length here is eight and a half so find if you find the midpoint what you simply do is this do like this do you now bend your tape measure like this see so the midpoint is now 4.2 so the 4.2 you find 4.2 here so let's go you start from here so there you see your midpoint there will be your midpoint you see it's easy so now let's say this is your midpoint now so so determine the length of sleeve, it depends on you, it depends on, it depends on the length of sleeve you want, you want uh, 10 inches, it depends on you. So, for that midpoint, you measure your sleeve, let's say your sleeve, you should have, should, should have, sorry, your shoulder should, should have, uh, let's say 2 inches for example, mark it there, from there. So from here, for that end spot, you now put your sleeve length, depending on the choice you want. So let's say the sleeve length you want to use, for example, is 20 half. This here, you see? 20 half. So now, after doing that, now you know this kind of, how to cut out your fabric. Then you now cut out your fabric like for the sleeve length you want. After you cut out your fabric for the sleeve length, let's 20 half inches. Then you now fold it in the main spot. Let me do it like I can see. We now fold it like this. Let me fold it properly. Come here. So now you see, you have you have folded it now. You see. Now I've done this. This is how you to fold that style you just saw. This is how to start cutting it and start drafting it out. So now that's what I did here. The same formula I used to achieve this. This one I use in this one. So you can see this is unfold. You see? So it's unfold now. So I use the same formula I use for this, for this. So now that we have done that, so now let's get started. In this tutorial, I've already found my mid spot for this blouse. So now I'm going to fold it like so. I fold at the midpoint. So now, the next thing I'm going to do here 
is to now bring in my bring out my shoulder to shoulder. My shoulder to shoulder is 12. I divide by 2, I get 6 inches. So from here, I bring out 6 inches. So I just mark it like this. See what I did here. So after doing that, I will now determine my, my sleeve length. So from that place here, my sleeve length is 7 inches. So from here, 7 inches. So now that time is sleeve, I'm going to draw a straight line from there to here. So now that I've drawn out my length of my sleeve, the remaining one you see here is half an inch. This one is going to be for to, for my sewing uh, to, to side up the edges at my sleeve yeah so i'll leave this one so here you can see a marker this is for my shoulder this is my, uh, my shoulder to shoulder which is six inches so now have we done that i will now take out the straight body measurement so from here from my shoulder here i place it like this from my shoulder to my Boss point is 9.5. 9.5 here. That's my boss point. Mark it. From my shoulder to my under boss is 12 inches. I mark it. Then I'm going to add extra 2 inches to it. I mark it here. So now, these lines, I'm going to draw it straight like this so as you can see I've marked it out this is my boss point this is my under boss and this is the extra two inches added to the fabric so the next step I'm going to do here is this is to now find my neck width so my neck width I'll be using for this tutorial is three inches. So from here, from this place, is three inches. Then for my back, my back neck is one and a half inches. So I'm going to create the curve with my free hand. I'm going to use this to create a curve. This is for my my back. Then, you remember the, the, the photo in my picture? Did you see the lady? The V neck was past a uh, boss point. So it depends on you. If you want your V neck to be above your boss point, it depends on you. If you want to be past your boss point to be showing the shape of your your bobbies. It depends on your totally your choice so from here because of the sake of the picture i'm going to use that picture to draft out this pattern so remember here was my boss point so i'm going to get a v-neck that will be close to my boss point that will rest on my boss point so from here i'm going to take eight inches so I'm going to rule out a v-neck for this tie. So from here, I'll just take my tape measure from here like so. There, from that, from the three inches width to the eight inches. So from here, you can see. Let me mark it so I can see. So I won't go beyond there. So now, you can see I've marked out my eight inches. I'll just connect the dot from here to here. So see what I'm going to do here. So I take my tape measure. Sorry, not my tape, my ink. Then so if you want your V neck to be showing at your boss point, put on you, but I don't want to do that. So this is above the boss point. So if you want it to be here, it's up to you. So have we done this? So have we done this? The next step is to now see what I'm going to do here. 
So remember here is 3 inches. So you see what I'm going to do here? I'm going to mark it out here as well. Then the 3 inches here, I'm also going to go here like so. I'll take my tape measure. From here, mark at the 3 inches for my neck weight. And the one and a half as well. So I'll just create a curve to it from here as well. Like this, like so. You can use your tape measure, sorry, your free hand. So from here, I'll create a V neck from here as well on the other side. So I've created a V neck as well. So now, having done this, I'm going to open it like so. So I said to close it back. So now I'm going to cut. First of all, I'm going to cut the back neck first. So I'm going to cut from here like so. I've cut off the back. So now, to cut at the front, I'm going to open it like this. Then, I'll open it with my finger in there like so. Then I'm going to cut from here, this way, and from there that way. So, go to this side as well. You just follow the shape. So if you open it like this, this is what you're going to get at the end. So like I said, if you want it to be above, to be close to your boss point depending on you, or to be just one inch before your boss point depending on you. So having done this, now the next step for me, now having done that, the next step is to now put in our band. Remember last I have a band. So at the, at the half of the, that's my natural waist. So determine the band, I cut out a, a pattern here. Here on fold is two and a half inches. So if you open it like this, it's five inches. Then you can see how I did this. I fold the half inches and half inches here. So you close it like this. So from here, the length from here to here is 18 inches. Remember my natural waist for 34 inches plus 2 inches for my 2 inches for sweet allowance. That gives it 6 inches. Divided by 2, what I have is 18 inches. So here I have 18 inches for the front. And also I have 18 inches for the back. So all together here is 36 inches. So the length here, like I said, is two inches. But all together, if I open it, it's five inches. So if you notice, I you half an inch, half an inch, I fold it in, half an inch. That will now create a band for this time. So now, to see where to place our bands, it's very, very easy, I will show you what to do. So remember, the front panel was 18 inches for my band. 18 inches, 18 inches. So, what you simply do, 18 inches divided by 2 is 9 inches. So, at the mid spot here, you mark at 9 inches, for example. I have 9 inches here. So, 
So from here again as well, nine inches. So from here to here is eighteen inches. So here from here is nine inches. From the midpoint from there is also nine inches. So I've done that. You now, from that nine inches there, you now create. I put a pin there. So yeah, so I put a pin here. It's very easy. So now, if you sew the the handle, you simply sew from here, the stitch from here, and you fold it half an inch allowance and sew round. Then you do the same thing, you stitch from here and you sew from here half an inch and sew round. So for this band, you now place the band like so. The front panel like so. Place the front band, the front panel. Yeah, I'm struggling to do this. So you just place it. Let me open it so I can. So I can. So I've succeeded to do it now. So what you do here, you see the band now. You place take half an inch here. You now place it with the half half an inch here. Put it together like this, and you stitch. You see how it looks like now, almost like a blouse. So you do that one, you just stitch. See, your blouse is now ready to be wear. So it depends on the length of the sleeve. If the sleeve is a very long sleeve, then I would suggest you gather it. Like what I say, use the method from here, make sure at the length, you gather it together to to, uh, to to the length of the band so if you like to uh, please don't forget to subscribe and share my video and give my video a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video so for now one love one peace and bye for now and also i have started a new channel where i sew fabrics this is channel is mostly for bits and pieces of sewing and for fab and for pattern drafting so please subscribe to my other channel and I will see you there. So for now, one peace, one love and bye for now.